I was meditating on a scripture this morning, and I plan to go back and meditate on it a whole lot more. This is from the Amplified Version of the Bible. And I don't know that I've ever read this scripture in the Amplified Version of the Bible. If I did, it wasn't speaking to me the way it's speaking to me now. And, and that's a lesson in itself. See, we read things in the Bible sometimes over and over and over. And we say yes and amen, but there comes a time when it becomes like a rhema word. It becomes a right now word. It becomes a word in due season. It becomes a word for your kairos. It becomes a word that you can grab hold of and say, yes, this is mine. It becomes a word that, that causes faith to arise in your heart. It becomes a word that unlocks something for you. It becomes a word that leads you into a new truth you've never fully understand. See, it becomes a word. It becomes a, not just the word, but a word to you. And I was reading this morning, I was reading in Proverbs, I was reading in Psalm, and I found this here. Listen, 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 listen. By your favor, O Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain. I love that. It just, ah, I don't know if that does for you what it did for me, but by your favor, O Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain mountain by your favor O Lord you have established me as a strong mountain so I started meditating on that by your favor Lord you have established me as a strong mountain how do you meditate on the word one way is to do it like this I was I was when I was on Sid Roth I explained this but by your favor O Lord you have established me as a strong mountain by your favor. You emphasize each word by your favor. By your favor, O oh Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain. By your favor, O oh Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain. And many, many years ago, I was in uh, Nicaragua on uh, missions. And I remember I had my first opportunity to actually minister. I've been carrying a camera doing documentary work, and at some point uh, they allowed me to start preaching. And I, I had a, a word that I received in the, ho in the hotel room for the women's conference about being established. It was out of Esther. And, and, and this word established is so, 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 uh, so telling. One of the definitions of establish actually means to put in a favorable position. To establish means to put beyond doubt. To establish means to make a church, a national, or state institution. It means to gain full recognition or acceptance. It means to put on a firm basis, to make firm or stable. See, favor will bring stability in your life. Favor, it also means to introduce and cause to grow and multiply. Favor will bring multiplication in your life. Favor will put you on a firm footing. Favor will give you position, will open doors. Favor will cause people to recognize you that have overlooked you in the past. It's God's favor. God's favor will make you like a mountain, like a strong mountain. We see, we prayed against the mountains. Jesus said, if, if you have faith as the size of a grain of mustard seed, you can speak to that mountain and say, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and it shall be done. The mountain will obey you. And we prayed uh, about seeing over the other side of the mountain in an earlier broadcast. But here it says, by your favor, O Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain. Not a weak mountain, not a mamsy pamsy mountain, a strong mountain. Now the NIV says, Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. New Living Translation says, Your favor, O Lord, made me as, a, as secure as a mountain. How many of you know a mountain is secure? We can move it by faith, but the devil can't move you when you're on this mountain of favor. By your favor, English Standard Version, by your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. 
You made me stand strong like a mountain, Christian Standard Bible. You made me strong as a mighty mountain. You protected me like a mountain fortress. It's the good news translation. You made me secure. God, in your pleasure, you established power upon my glory. <laughs> How about that translation? That's the Aramaic Bible English transversion. Uh, translation, transversion. Okay. O oh Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain stand strong. The Dewey Reams Bible. O oh Lord, in thy favor, thou gavest strength to my beauty. Come on. Thou caused my strength to remain for, the, for my mountain. By your favor, not by man's favor. See, some of you have been seeking man's favor when you should be seeking God's favor, because when you seek God's favor, he'll give you the favor with the men and the women that you need. How do you, how do you, how do you win God's favor? Well, he already favors you. You have his favor, but there are seasons of crazy favor. I'll never forget to, I guess it was, I don't know, a few years ago now when Cindy Jacobs, I was talking to her on the phone and she said, you know, you're in a season of crazy favor. And I, I liked that. I said, well, bless God. And I saw it manifest. There are, there are seasons where you just seem to have special favor, but see, it's for a special purpose. You always, you're always favored by God. Understand that his grace, part of grace is favor. Part of grace is enablement. There are different definitions of grace, but part of grace is favor. You have the favor of God all the time. You are favored. You are highly favored. You have the favor of God. But sometimes you don't know you have the favor of God because your circumstances don't line up with what you think favor should look like. That's the enemy pushing you back against your favor with fierce fear or whatever else he's using as a tactic to convince you, to deceive you, and to think that you're not favored. You are favored. But there are seasons of crazy favor. There are seasons of mega favor. And the reason why is because there's a purpose. There's an acceleration. And I prophesied about an accelerated acceleration. And in that, Favor is mixed in that. You, you can't accelerate at accelerated speeds without the favor of God, without the wind of God, without the grace of God. Remember, favor and grace, two sides of the same coin. One of the definitions biblically of grace is favor. It's a supernatural favor. It's also a supernatural empowerment. Both of these things, both sides of this grace coin that we're talking about, there's deep definitions of grace, but these two definitions, they both empower you or they both facilitate your accelerated acceleration. So I want to pray over you today. I want to release that over you today. But I, I want you to believe it because, see, favor, it, it already rests on you, okay? Favor, it's, it's your portion. It, it belongs to you. If you want more favor with God, demonstrate that you can be trusted. You want more opportunity. You want God to open doors for you. Show him you could handle it. Cast down vain imaginations. Get your emotions straightened out. Make sure you're sowing. Make sure you're giving. Make sure you're obeying your leaders. Obedience unlocks favor. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, you know, if my, if, if I have a, a son and he's not uh, uh, doing his chores and he's not performing well in school, I'm not going to favor him with my car keys for the weekend. You understand? I still love him. I still favor him, but I'm not going to give him special favor if he's being disobedient and irresponsible. You understand? So we need to understand that we are in a season of accelerated acceleration and that God's favor does rest upon us. But sometimes how much of it we're walking in depends on how much we believe, our faith, and our obedience. Because the Bible says the willing and obedient will eat the good of the land. That's in Deuteronomy. The willing and you can be willing all day. Yeah, I'm willing to be blessed. Oh, Jesus, I am willing to be blessed. My God, I'm willing to be blessed. That's awesome. But are you being obedient? Because if you're running around practicing sin and disobedience, God still favors you. He still loves you. But he's probably not going to open new doors for you in this season because you can't handle it. He doesn't want you to fall on your face. See, he's merciful. Sometimes we think he's holding out on us when the reality is he's showing us mercy because we would make such a mess if he opened that door right now. Dear God, will we make a mess? So understand that you're favored, that favor rests upon you. But I'm going to, I'm going to pray over you, and I'm going to pray for the revelation of that favor. And I'm going to say if you're, if you're sinning, stop. If your emotions are a mess, grab hold of your mind. I'm not condemning you. Emotions are something we all deal with. And they will lead us astray every time. But grab hold. Get in line with God. Align with God's heart. Because favor is your portion. 
I want to remind you, you can get all the equipping resources you need, schoolofthespirit.tv. E-courses are wonderful. They're fantastic. Online schools, I think, let you go deeper. It's all there at schoolofthespirit.tv. Father, I thank you that you are a God of favor. You love us with an un compromised love you don't love us one way one day and another way another day you love us all the same all the time and it's with a perfect love and your favor it it resides on us your favor it belongs to us it's part of our portion it's part of our inheritance you favor us but God help us to get it help us to really see it help us to understand and meditate on it because your favor will make us strong like a mountain you establish us like a mountain, and whatever mountain is, 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 is ridiculing us or mocking us, saying you don't have favor, you don't have blessings, that mountain needs to go into the sea. And so by faith, we command every mountain, mountains of debt, mountains of worry, mountains, demonic mountains, we command them to be cast into the sea in Jesus' name. And we think that we will stand secure, solid, stable, like a mountain of God. And I release crazy favor over you, in Jesus' name. I say favor is your portion. Favor, it belongs to you. You are favored. You are highly favored. And I release favor, a revelation of favor, an understanding of favor over you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Listen, you can find me online at jenniferleclair.org. Bless you.